In your marriage and in your relationship, communication is key. And especially as new parents, it is crucial. So in this episode today, we are going to be talking about the importance of communicating as new parents and navigating in that new space. And with that said, let's talk about it. Let's get it. So one thing that we always talk about on our channel and every relationship building conversation we have, it really starts with communication mm -hmm. and any aspect of the relationship, whether you're in year one or year 10 or year 20 mm -hmm. of the relationship mm -hmm. journey. She's right here. She wants to be picked up. You picked her up and put her in a video last time. Now she wants uh. to be picked up and be in a video this time. You want to pick her up? You, mm -mm, you pick her up. All right, we have we have a dog that we have a dog that was crying and wanted to be picked up. So she wanted to be in the video. <laughs> she wanted to be in the video. So whether it's year one, year five, year ten, year twenty, at any point in your relationship, communication is extremely important. Mm -hmm. But in this video, we want to break down as new parents. We want to break down why it's so important to have that good communication as new parents. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. As, as new parents, it's so important to communicate and keep communication at the forefront because you're navigating this new space right. as being parents. And as we talked about in one of our earlier videos, um, talking about some of the hardest or like challenges within the first year of parenthood, it's the newness of it all. Mm -hmm. And having some fear around that because it's such yeah. a new space. And so it's so important to communicate because the first year is challenging. Right. It's filled with newness. Oftentimes, you know, your confidence may be lagging a little bit. You may be feeling like there's some areas where you're struggling. And that comes with areas as far as like being a parent, but showing up in your marriage, mm -hmm. showing up for yourself and simply just trying to balance it all. And so there are going to be moments where you feel extremely overwhelmed. Right. You're going to be tired. You're going to have misdirected energy at mm. times or misdirected frustration. That's big. And so it's important to communicate and say, hey, babe, I'm not feeling my best today. Yeah. Um, it's not toward you. It, you know, I'm just feeling very overwhelmed with the day to day today. And I, I need a second or having your partner come in and hear that and say, OK, how can I support you yeah. in this moment? How can I be there for you? What does support look like for you? Does right. it mean me giving you your space to decompress and try to just have some quiet time to yourself? Or does this mean that you need me to come and comfort you and uh, console you? Like, what does support look like for you? And mm -hmm. I think that communicating how you're feeling, whether you're happy, you're sa sad, you're overwhelmed, you're angry, is so important. But then allowing your partner to then respond to that information and say, how can I be there for you? What does support look like for you in this given moment? Because it could very well change. Um, Dang. Yeah. I mean, that was just so well said. Yeah. You eloquently just said everything that I was thinking, but mm -hmm. you just said it perfectly. Yeah. And how many times have we done that over yeah. the, the course of this first year? We have. We, right. We've done it a, well, a lot. Well, we've had right? to readjust like many of times. There have been times when you've come to me and said, babe, I need a second. I'm very overwhelmed. It's been a long day at work. Yeah. You know, Jordan's fussy. He's tired or this or that. I just need a second. Can you come and step in? Yeah. And take care of the day to day right now. Mm -hmm. I just need a moment. And I totally get that and, and vice versa. And you know what that does when we communicate our feelings, whether it's good or bad, negative or positive, when we communicate our feelings, it releases you of extra stress and extra tension and, mm -hmm. and possibly even resentment. That's what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Not, expressing those feelings and mm -hmm. then holding those emotions right. in and your partner has no clue what's going on. Yeah. When you express that to your partner and your partner is open and receptive to hearing it, mm -hmm. that communication is there so that, so that knowledge is there yeah. for you guys to be able to respond mm -hmm. adequately to mm -hmm. whatever that person is feeling, what right. that partner is feeling. And that makes it so much easier in right. the long run. And not every conversation and not every um, emotion that that you have is going to come off as you would want it to. Because right. definitely if you're in an angry space or you're in a, a overwhelmed space, sometimes your energy can be off. And mm -hmm. sometimes you just have to step back yourself and realize like, hey, like I'm not in the best headspace right now. Right. Or like I'm a little overwhelmed with mm -hmm. the Jordan or, or like my day, like maybe work was crazy or something. And 
you have to sometimes just step back and come come at come to your partner in a calm fashion mm-hmm. so that things don't get extra heated or or right. you don't you don't portray your um your stresses onto them and onto then it them. becomes them, you them stressed and then it becomes stressful on the relationship and what you guys are right. building either right. long term or, or or within that day exactly yeah <laughs> and have it put a strain on the relationship like you said longer than it needs to like whether it's just in that temporary yeah. time frame or like for an extended amount of time yeah. in your relationship and it's something that i was going to say that you said by communicating it is allowing or disallowing resentment to come mm, about yep, yep. because the one the one thing you don't want to do is start to resent your partner because you're feeling a certain way and you're not able to properly express yourself and they're not able to be there for you. And something that's so important when it comes to communicating as well, one, why you should do it. And we always, you know, say this, that is key, but it's also key because your partner is not a mind reader. Right. Your partner is not going to always know how you're feeling. And though, you know, you could be with someone for a very long time. We've been together for a very long time. You're not going to always know how I'm feeling. Sometimes we have, we get upset because we have these unmet expectations mm. as well. Um, that, oh, I would have responded a certain way and I'm upset that my partner isn't recognizing that I'm feeling a certain way and hasn't stepped in and responded the way that I would like them to. Right. But your partner's not a mind reader yeah. and they're not going to know. So although we would love for them to just get it sometimes, yeah. they don't, you and know, and it's up to us, the person that is feeling, um, a certain emotion or feeling anxious or feeling overwhelmed or whatever the feeling is, you just need some time to yourself right. to openly express that to your partner. And you know, that's so important too, because really that's where arguments start to crumble and start to crack a little bit mm-hmm. where it's just those small little microaggressions um, or that, that tension that between you guys that, that aren't being properly communicated. Mm-hmm. And because of that, that continues to grow. It continues to mm-hmm. fester. And that is why so many relationships and marriages fail and more so relationships, like definitely marriages fail as well. But in marriage, you have, you have grown a little bit more stronger and, um, the commitment to each other is a little bit more, is, is more there intact. Mm -hmm. But in relationships, it's, it's even harder because that true commitment hasn't been in place yet. So it's so easy to just walk away. And it's say also, I'm done or, yeah. yeah, and it's also easy to walk away from your marriage. And I know it's kind of crazy to like kind of jump into like, oh, you break it up a marriage over some simple fight. But honestly, that's where that's where relationships really start to crumble and, and, and lose the strength of their bond. It's just those small little changes that you can make on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. And it starts with communication. Yeah. So this is bigger than just, you know, the first year of parenthood. Oh, communication. Of course, yeah. This is a lifelong lesson mm-hmm. and advice that you can take when it comes to your relationships and right. your marriages because it's so important. But in this specific video, we're, we're, we're really just touching on how it really affects your parenthood because mm-hmm. it's hard being a parent, a new parent yeah. and doing it together. You know, we both have two different ways of thinking mm-hmm. and, um, raising our child and, and making sure that the communication is there as far as how you want to parent is extremely important, but there's always going to be different ways of, of thinking and right. how to do things and all that. And throughout that first year of, you know, you being new parents, just the, just the, the fact of everything being so new, that's already overwhelming. And that right. can be a lot on, on one person, but right. to try to manage it together and, and be one with this, this child um, sometimes can be um, hard. Yeah. So it's more so just about having that open communication about everything and just being yeah. as open as you possibly can so that little things don't add up. And also you guys can just be on the same page. That's yeah, really so what you can be on to. the same page. And like at the end of the day, you guys have the same goal in mind. Right. And that is to raise a healthy, happy baby and also still having a healthy happy marriage or relationship as well. But further talking about parenthood and why communication is also key is because as your child gets older, they start to pick up on that. And the Mm -hmm. way that you communicate to each other is a reflection of how your child may communicate, Mm -hmm. whether it be the opposite of that 
or the same thing because of what they see in the home. Right. And so it's important because you also don't want to give your child like mixed signals either. Like yeah. you're telling your child, like raising them to, you know, have a certain type of mindset or, you know, just develop into your own communicating a certain way. But as parents, you're not being a reflection of that. Mm, yeah. And so it's just important all around because your children do pick up on that. And, you know, that's how habits and things like that build as well. Um, yeah. as far as like how they in turn respond to things, are they more, um, reserved or are they openly expressive with their thoughts and their feelings and things yeah. like that? And it's because a lot of the times it's also a reflection of what they've experienced in the home and seeing how their parents communicate. Mm, amen. That's such a good point. And the last point that I want to make is that, you know, when you have a child with somebody, mm -hmm. it's everybody's dream and, and goal for those two parents to stay together mm -hmm. and to want to raise this child together mm -hmm. and have a, a, a family that's not broken apart and it's not a one house, a one parent household. The goal is to be a two parent household and, and to show mm -hmm. that love and mm -hmm. that respect and that honor and that communication through, throughout the entire journey. Mm -hmm. And it's these type of conversations that really can put you in a, a better perspective and, and light to understand like how important the small things are and mm -hmm. how important it is to communicate because that's really where it all starts. It's about that communication. And as long as two, you, you two are on the same page as far as parenting, as far as your relationship, as far as uh, expectations and all that stuff, mm -hmm. everything else seems to follow in line. But as soon as communication gets off track, that's where all the, the small other things start to really affect the relationship. Mm -hmm. So keeping that communication strong in every aspect of the relationship and especially in your parenthood mm -hmm. is extremely crucial. Right. And we are going to continue to preach on the communication. Right. Um, and, and one last thing is still tying into that because I'm, I'm not going to keep going off into it. And when we say communication, obviously we're we're talking about verbal communication like that's the biggest thing but not all forms of communication are verbal you know Good you point. have to also Good pick point. up on body language social cues um energy things like that um and it's so important and, and so um when people say read the room sometimes yeah you do have to read the room and mm -hmm. read how your partner is feeling you mm -hmm. may not necessarily know and that's when the verbal communication comes in and you can say Hey, you know, I don't know. Your body language seems a little off today, or your your body language doesn't seem like your 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 normal self. Is everything okay? Which which is what we have struggled with from time to time. Oh yeah, well. and you know, we we struggle with that too. You know, like when we're saying this, we're not perfect. We, yeah, we're not perfect. We still at all. make mistakes, and but we we make sure that we correct. Yeah, and we come back. It may not be in that present moment, but an hour from from then or the next day, and say. Hey, like, let's talk about what happened yesterday. Right. Or let's talk about how you were feeling earlier today. I picked up on your body language and um, you don't quite seem like yourself today. What's right. going on? Yeah. Let's talk about or it. Or that wasn't cool. Like, or nah, that wasn't I didn't, cool. I didn't or I didn't that. I didn't like that. Or I and, didn't appreciate, you know, you know I mean, what we, you did, et cetera. You know, we're, we're, when we're, when we're talking about this, we're also like experiencing it as well. And we're yeah. navigating through these waters too. And a lot of it is trial and error, of course. Um, and it also comes from experience. So we feel confident having these conversations because these are some things that we've worked through, but we are still working through some of them yeah. as well. And we're, and also we're, we're new parents. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we're, and you just spoke on confidence. Mm -hmm. We're confident in talking about this because we're confident in our relationship. Yeah. We're confident in who we are individually and together. Mm -hmm. And, the confidence that we have through the 14 years that we 14, 13, 13. I don't know. 13. How do they all? I think it's together? 13. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, that confidence is there. So we're able to, to share some of the, the, some of the issues that we've even had. Mm -hmm. Um, but they're not major issues. There's things that we can address because we've been there mm -hmm. and now we know how to, properly communicated mm -hmm. to you guys mm -hmm. so that it hopefully can help you in the long run with your relationship or your next relationship if you're single 
And for that relationship to blossom into a marriage and that marriage to be a long lasting right. partnership. Yeah. And if you have kids for this to be a lesson as far as you raising them kids right and, and you raising your relationship right along the way. That's yeah. what this is all about. So with that said, we're going to wrap it up. My name is Shane. I'm Jen. And this is The Yambors. And remember to find joy in the journey. Peace. Building a happy home. Yeah. Building a happy marriage. Building a happy family. All of those things take day in and day out work. Like you said, it's about those routines. It's about those habits. And building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage, to pour into your relationship, and to pour into yourself. Exactly.